A group of Zimbabwean nationals in neighboring South Africa has threatened to shut down their country's embassy in Johannesburg Friday over a number of listed grievances. In messages that are circulating on social media, the group, which calls itself Progressive Zimbabweans, describes itself as a youth movement which is seized with the continuing repression and economic rot in their home country, both of which have seen millions emigrate in their droves since 2000. The group, which complains that its previous efforts to try and resolve the Zimbabwean crisis have fallen off on deaf ears, calls on Zimbabweans to meet at their country's embassy in Edenvale on Friday, November 3 at 10 a.m. In one of its written messages, the group expresses its dismay at the alleged squeezing of democratic space by President Emerson Nangakwasazanu PF-led government, political persecution of opposition activists, and demands fresh elections. One of the posters advertising the march reads, We demand fresh election. For 43 years, ZANU PF me has been squeezing on our necks as a nation. Media is squeezed. Political prisoners like Emara P9, Jacob Ngarivume, and Job Wiwasikala are squeezed. The economy is squeezed through rampant corruption. Election after election, we are squeezed. Peaceful demonstrations, we are squeezed. Free speech is squeezed. International diplomacy, SAD is squeezed. Our courts and judges are squeezed. Our financial institutions are squeezed. Health care is squeezed. We cannot breathe. We cannot breathe. The time is now for Zimbabweans from all walks of life to wake up, rise up, and stand up to the bully and say, we fear for call. Power to the people. Amanda Ebantwini. <laughs> Salibona salibona ni mazimba pa mashle muski tilo kuruma yo. Nanko kunye nginza lako na mtlaje. Mitangila zise. E, Nkoli se futi. Nogweza ishot notice. Sesa nanzile luguti ama long notice. Singawayenza stura se slindi wela peana. Ngabafisu kwenza loka bafisu kwenza mpile ni. Tungitigiti ang. Angitigini mazimba pa mashle. Aslanga nene Friday. Ngoteni ekuseni. E istiketi embas. Gia putuma. Aslanga nene Friday. Ngoteni ekuseni. E istiketi e embasi. Ngoli isi kwa ishoti notisi bantu. Nya tela. Tela kumlu wako. Tela kuposi yako. Tela kumanecha wako. Ukichimi uzofiga e embasi. Nge Friday. Mchaka 3 November. Ngerekota le voisi. Ngitipamu kwa kusasa Friday. Ngerekota. Na mchanja kungo lwe statu. Kwa putu mabagiti, saha amba sayo maja, abas pendulanga. Saha amba sayo pota kiti, sachora sibe sifagiri mchibila. Now is the time. Enough is enough. Aslanga nene isti kiti. Ngule sitanu ekseni, Friday, nchaka 3 November 2023. Angiti saha basupa nengeze 14 days, yuguti bas penduli, abas pendulanga. Asa mbe nengeze babone suguti, we are Zimbabweans. Natal tandi liso lagiti. We are proud of our country. Yit i majority elise. I progressive Zimbabweans. I youth yase Zimbabwe. Akusi political party. I youth group yase Zimbabwe. Ama youth wong awase Zimbabwe. Sugu manindi joini progressive Zimbabweans. Si yes langane istikete embas. Nge Friday. Exeni ngoteni. Age kumteli lungse di lizwe ni selpansi. E South Africa kusi lizwe letu. Kusemi zinzi ni kwa makele wana. Asiege leni ni kurilaksa. Asiege leni ni kunyebelega e South Africa. Akusilo lizwe letu. Asilu ngiselo kungo kwetu. Asilu nganene e embassy e istiketi. Friday. Ngoteni. Ekuseni makaundi nila wana rapiano kutengi. Selo kuna mazimba chips. Asilu nganene kwa pan. Nyabo. 
in brief the speaker is calling on zimbabweans to stand up and solve their economic and political issues back home without having to pet in neighboring countries and he's saying that zimbabwe belongs to all of them he's also complaining that previous efforts have been blocked he says that in the last demonstration they gave the zimbabwean government two weeks in which to resolve the impasse back home but nothing has been done which means that they were ignored is also raising a complaint that they tried to close down the zimbabwean border last week but also they met resistance because they were not granted permission to do that so he's now calling on zimbabweans to stand up and resolve these issues on their own without seeking any assistance from anybody else. Onisingobe, AVG News, Johannesburg.